What's up everyone? Today I am doing, I am gonna finish a craft that I started more than a year ago. Uh, I started it and then I, I don't know what happened. I think I lost the little, the little stems. But I started making a video back then. I'm gonna finish the video today. So you watch the video from back then and then we'll carry on to the video today. What's up everyone? Today, I am going to be making, I'm actually just going to be re, refacing my, um, this is a paper plate holder. I don't know if any of you have ever seen one. Mine had grapes all over it. I'll show you the picture. Um, you know, a long time ago, my kitchen was, was it had grapes in it. So this looked really good in, with the, in that kitchen. Well, now this kitchen has... I guess it has a little apples and like a country feel. Um, we got a bunch of Tyler's mom stuff when she passed and that's in our kitchen. So that's our country feel. So I want to paint this. I was going to paint it barn red. I even bought the paint to paint it barn red. But to match my countertops and stuff, I think I'm going to paint it black. So let's go out in the backyard and um, get this painted. It's got little um, little knobs here off the hot glue it back together and, and one end screws in and one end hot glues in but um i'll see if i can maybe put some a transfer some letters or something write something on it i don't know i don't know we will see what i end up doing with it but i'm going to spray paint it black um and you guys are coming with me so let's go all right everyone i am going to start painting All right, guys. I'm not sure why it's doing this. You see that? I guess because there was a print on there, but I sanded the whole thing down. Sanded the whole thing down. I don't like it. I don't like the way it is. So I might have to put a print on here or something on here because I'm not liking what it looks like on either one of them. I do. I would like to use it again, but I'm not liking what it's what it's looking like. So I might have to put like um, some contact paper or. I don't know. Something. Something on there. Because it feels funny. It's not smooth. It, um, I don't like it. But I'm going to finish painting the, um, these sticks so that they'll be ready. I might have to just flip this back over and put the sticks back in here. Put them the other direction so that the sticks will be ready. What the heck? Oh, they don't fit in very good the opposite direction. I just barely, oh, that one went in. Just paint the tops of them a little bit. Ah, shoot. Bless you. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to let that dry, and then we're going to have to figure out. Maybe I'll put a little bit more black on here. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do here. Oh, Being I don't like it the way it is. Can I, like, get you a I'll figure out something. something. All right, everyone, so... This is it, and what it is, some of you might know, it's a paper plate holder. I've had it since, golly, 
I've had it since my children were little. Since Angie and Danny were little. Um, I don't know what all you're seeing here. I'm blocking you out here. Um, <clears throat> and I really like it because it holds a bunch of paper plates. Let me show you. <clears throat> I mean, this is a stack of... Oh, it's going to fall over. Stack of paper plates. I need to set you guys up differently. But... They would fit right down in there, and you can put them on your counter, or you can hang them on the wall, whichever you prefer. I do have a little hook back here to hang them on the wall. I used this when the kids were little, and um, I've always liked it. Always liked it so much. But it used to have grapes across here, because my kitchen in Maryland, when I lived out the valley, I had my kitchen done up in grapes. When our house burnt down and we rebuilt the house, we didn't have a lot of money for new kitchen stuff. So we, I built the cabinets in my kitchen. I built the doors and I put grapes on the doors. And then I painted like all the backsplash, the walls. It wasn't no backsplash, it was just the walls. I painted the walls purple, like, like a, not a pastel purple, but like a deep purple. Anyways, it wouldn't go with the grapes. But now that I'm not into the grapes, and um, I wanted to change it up. So what I did was, what I did was I sanded it down really good. And I took the grape, I guess it was a, I don't know if it was a sticker, I don't know what it was. I took it off, I got it off here, I sanded it super good. But look at the edge. This would not sand. This is like some kind of sticky... Maybe it was a sticky glue from the from the um, sticker that was on here. I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if it was for sure because look at this. This was never. This was just. Yeah, it did have a sticker on this one too. So this has it too, all the way around. I had tried. I have tried and tried and tried to sand that down, and it will not sand off. So today, what I'm going to do? In the past, I painted it. Um, painted it after I sanded it I painted it this black and then I noticed this and I noticed I don't like that and I know I could Mod Podge something and put a picture over there but I think what I'm going to try to do and it might not even turn out I might end up sanding it down again I think I'm going to try to sponge paint some some like some tan on there so that it'll match the countertops not this countertop this is just a little island but so that it will match those countertops over there. So it's got black, tan, gray. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So I wasn't sure that I even, you know, here I'm making this video, but I'm not sure that I even found the, the other video clips when I did this part or when it was purple. So, today I'm just going to try and sponge paint. I'm going to use this. I don't know how it's going to work. I wish I, I have a, a, a real sponge paint with all the holes in it that you could really sponge it with and it would look real good. I can't find it. So, I'm just going to kind of just, just barely tap in different spots. And then, if it turns out, I want to put the letters E-A-T on there, eat. And then that way it... You know, it's paper plates. You can grab your paper plate and eat. But I don't know if it's going to turn out. So I think I'm just going to try this piece first. Because then it'll be easier to sand off or whatever I decide to do. Um, <clears throat> I would do the Maz Podge and put something over there. But I don't know what I want to put over there. I have no clue what I would want to put over there. Um, <clears throat> I do have the Cricut. But, I don't know, I was going to just cut out a piece of the Cricut and just just um, stick it on here. But I don't know how I would get it in these grooves. You know, I'm new to the Cricut. Um, and then I could put the letters on top of the, the sticky thing that I put on there. But, I don't know. I think I'm going to try it this way. I wish I had the better sponge, but I think I'm going to try it this way. You guys are coming with me. We're going to do this piece first. Okay, so I'm going to use a paper plate or a paper bowl. I'm going to squeeze some of this tan. I got this little acrylic tan. I'm not sure how well you're seeing it. 
Um, trying to see where I want to put you guys. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to squeeze some in there. I mean, it might not turn out because of the brush I have. Got it in there. Okay, so take the brush. We're just going to barely... We're just going to barely get it on there. And maybe I'll tap it on the sides. I don't know. How's it going to turn out, guys? Somebody's, I know somebody's yelling at me. Oh, no, this might work. It will be different. This will cover up that crappy part of that black that didn't come off. And if this is too much, I can put, I can dob some black over top of it too. We'll see how it turns out. Just wanted to bring you guys with me. See what you guys think. I could always put other colors in here too. I don't have to just put the tan. Like I said, I could, I could, um... I could do the fresh black over top of this too. And I do have um, the stuff that you spray over top of it, the clear stuff that you spray over top of it. I mean, it might just look like a bunch of circles on a piece of wood, but I got different sized things like this. So. Let's just see what it ends up looking like. Let me get the edges here real good. There we go. Now, I know it might look stupid at this moment. I'm not going to do the... I'm not going to do the little sticks and I'm not going to do around the edge. I just kind of did a little bit around the edge so that that's what you see at the beginning. Or at, when you look straight at it. Like, like up here, I would probably leave it black. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you think it looks? I think it looks okay, and I think if I use different, um, different sponges like this with different shades, it might be better. Like, I could mix a little white with the tan and make the tan lighter so that I have lighter colored tan because this is kind of dark. Or I could, see right now you cannot see that crappy spot all the way around. And I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other piece. Well, we'll just see how it turns out. <clears throat> Maybe the black just showed it off. You guys can definitely see it, right? All the way around the edge. It's like a sticky glue that I cannot sand off. I have tried and tried and tried. So I think it looks okay. And I guess we'll see. We'll just see. Oops, a little bit too much there, but that's okay. I just gotta skip some spaces. Because I really laid it on heavy there. But I can, like I said, I can do different, um, different, different colors in here. This part here I'm doing right now, you're never going to see because it's going to be behind the paper plates. And then I can rough it up a little bit, but the main thing was that outer edge that I could not stand. I hated it. I almost did this in the garbage, and then I thought, well, I could, I could make a new one. I could just get some wood and trace this and make a new one. Get some dials, dial, the dial rods or whatever, whatever these things, you know what I'm talking about, the dial rods on the back. I mean, I could do that myself if I wanted, but I wanted to try to repurpose what I already had. And this is from way back. I mean, probably 1990. Let's see. 1990. Yeah, I don't know. It was from way back. If I got it after 
the house burnt down. The house burnt down in 2002. Um, that was after Haley was born. So, but it seems like maybe I had it before. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. I don't think I had it before. So I might not have had it when my kids were little. I had it when my grandkids were little. Because my kitchen wasn't purple when my kids were little. I didn't do that until after the house burnt down. So I was wrong there. In 2002, I think it was March, we lost our, our house burnt down. I lost my... <laughs> I had hundreds of snowmen in the attic. Hundreds of them I collected for Christmas. I don't know. Look, guys, it doesn't look that bad. I overdid it right there a little bit. But other than that, I don't think it looks that bad. And then once I let this dry and I get like a, a daub of black on there and, and maybe a lighter, this color in lighter, with different size things like this instead of the same size. So it doesn't look like a bunch of tan orbs. <laughs> it's kind of what it looks like, a bunch of tan orbs. I really liked it black and I just wanted it to be just black. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let me turn it this way so you guys can really see it. We'll put this one over here. See what you guys can see. Tell me what you think. It does look like a bunch of circles on there. But you can't see that black outline. So if you got something you don't like because of a situation, try to repurpose it. Try to make it look better. Um, let's go over to the countertop. Oh, shoot. With, um, with this one and we'll see what it looks like. I'm not sure what you guys are going to see. Alright. So, there it is with the countertop. Tell me what you think. I mean, I'm going to daub some black on there again. Let me... Ooh. Here's how it would sit. Oh, got y'all crooked. This is how it would sit. And then the back would be on it. The back's still wet, so I don't want to grab the back and put it on the counter. But that's... Well, let me grab it anyways. This is how it's going to sit. Oh, I like it already. Just looking at it, I like it already. And then the paper plates would be in there. Look at that. I love it. I'll still do a different, some different circles on there with different color. Like, I'll add some more black, some shiny black or something. But look at that. It looks pretty good on the counter. What do you guys think? It definitely goes with it. What are the colors? We have a little bit of white, but I don't think I want to put white in there. I think it's more of the, more of the, um, the off-white, the tan. This might be a little darker than, than some of the counter, but I still think it looks good. Tell me what you guys think. As soon as it dries, I'm going to get a different size. See, I have different size things here. I have this little one, too. Maybe we'll do black with this little one. I have really teeny ones in here. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. If we look over here, I have so many paints. I have another box like this somewhere. I always like the, there's a burnt red. It's right here. I always like the burnt red. And, um, I don't think, know if you can see because of the light, but let's see. That don't work either. See, I have the orangish red in my curtains up there. So that would look good too. If I dab some burnt red on there, I just almost don't think I want to do it. I almost really like it like it is. But I'm going to try to make it even better. And then I'm going to put this, the, um, I'm going to do the Cricut stickers and I'm going to write, put EAT. So we got to figure out what color I am doing them stickers. I mean, I could do them black. I really don't want to do them white. Um, I almost have to do them black, right, guys? I don't know. I guess we'll just see. I don't know. I did buy stuff to make other crafts. 
and I wanted to put them up there. Now that's from my hallway, which I could put back. Um, I had these coffee things up there that somebody got me and I just didn't want them. I didn't like them. Um, so I gave them to Henriette and then that was empty up there. So I put that up there, but I got these three cutting boards that I started last year or the year before. I can't remember. And I got this, the letters that you put on there, E-A-T. And I'll just put that up there too, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Somebody's, somebody's calling me. Look at the Marie's Life Vlogs. I just set that on there. Henriette, that's her sticker on the back of her car. But that's the outline of her sticker. Alright, so. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Alright, everyone. I got a little bit of black paint on here. I'm going to use the smaller one. We'll just see how it turns out because this black might overpower. You know what I mean? It might overpower. We'll do this one first. It might not do nothing. I took some of it off. It might not do nothing. Oh yeah, I guess I just have to push a little bit better. I'll kind of make these other things not look so much like circles maybe. Oops, too dark there. What are you guys thinking of this? I feel like this brush is not giving it much justice. But I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I need to go back to the big brush. Do the big circles. It might be okay. I might have to do the tan again just to... Maybe I should have left it the way it was, huh? And not worried about no more black. Because this is a bright black. Yeah, I don't know. But that's okay, because I can always put more tan on it. I think I just overdid it right there. What do you guys think? Can you, can you guys see it very well? If I put it this way, let me see what I think. Yeah, I definitely think these little circles kind of suck. Maybe the little ones just don't. Maybe they're just not good. Maybe I should have used the big one. Let me grab the big one. I already washed it out so it's a little damp. Here we go. We'll just dot it this way. Yeah, I think the little brush made it shitty. Sorry. <laughs> I think this one's much better. This one's more of more of an area. Now I gotta figure out how to get rid of the the little ones. Probably put some more tan over top of it. I like it. It's kind of more black, except for those dots in the middle. <laughs> All right. Well, let me push that one to the side, and let me try to do this one with the big thing, and see what happens. Okay, because we got a lot right here. Remember. I'm barely pushing with this. The other one I had to push a little harder. It didn't feel like it wanted to. Um, didn't feel like it wanted to um, dot. Can you imagine if you had to dip your thing in something and play bingo? Dip, bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> Instead of being like a daughter or a daughter, daughter. playing bingo. I haven't played bingo in so long. Me and Lisa want to go play bingo. Yeah, this this one works a lot better. And I'll probably I'll probably have this thing going before the well before the weekend maybe. I'll probably have it sitting on the counter. I like it. 
I like the black showing more, but I love the tan in there. It just goes so well, and it's going to look so good on the countertop. This one's just about done. I just got to do some more tan on that one because that one's too much, too much now. Look at that one. What do you guys think? I really like it. All this time, I didn't even think of this. Why didn't I think of this? It looks great. I love it. I'm glad I didn't use the little daughter on this one. Because this way you can just barely tap it. All right, guys, I'm very satisfied with this one. What do you guys think? You guys satisfied with it too? Maybe a couple. Well, this you ain't even going to see, so I ain't even going to worry about down in there. You're not going to see it because the cover's going to be on it. Um, I might put a little tan right there. Um, I'm going to switch, push this over. I might have to go back to the black. Just depends on how much I mess this up. But I'm going to wash this out and get some tan again. All right, so I don't know how much this tan is going to... That's still, still a little wet. My hands are wet, though. Let me dry my hands. All right, guys, here we go. Right in here is where it looks, oh, there we go. Yeah. And remember, there's gonna be letters across here, so you're really not gonna see too much. I like this already. Some of the letters will block some of this. Yeah, I fixed the black mess up. Oh, almost dropped it out of my hand. I fixed it already, you guys like it? Yay! Let me put a dot right there. Yeah, I like it. Get rid of some of that black. As soon as it dries, I'm going to put this thing together. i got to find some screws because it's been so long since I took it apart. I have no clue where the screws are. So I'm going to have to find some screws that are going to fit in here. I'm wondering if I should just leave that top. I was going to just leave that top. Um... I could do the top completely in the black with the little daughter. You know, like with this one. Just go like this all the way across. Or even just brush it. Yeah. All the way across. I like that. We'll leave that top all the way black. Love it looks perfect what about the sides should i just go around the sides with the black too not that you're going to see the bottom oh shit now i can't lay it down there we go all right that one's good i'm i'm very happy with it tell me what you guys think i'm moving it over here I love it. Now we're going to pull this one back over. And we're going to take a look at it. Like I think I need some, some right here. I like it though. Alright. So now I'm going to go all the way around the edge with the black. Oh, I know you guys can't see it. We'll go all the way around the edges with the black. And I'll probably just slide it around. There we go. I don't have to worry about the bottom because you're never going to see the bottom. There we go. I'll figure out how I'm getting it back up on here. I love it. Very, very happy with it. When I get it together, or when I find some screws, I'll bring you guys back. But it's got to dry first. See you in a little bit. All right, everyone. So it is dry. 
looks a little um, dense here, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to spray it with the Mod Podge. It's a matte, it's a clear acrylic, acrylic sealer, and I'm going to go out and spray it with that, and then it'll be ready to be put together. All right, everyone. I took it on the front porch. And I flipped the rug over. And I spray painted it right there. Well, clear coated it. I want to do a second coat. It's really strong out here. Hope nobody walks into the front door porch. Um, Because it's been raining outside. It's not raining too bad right now. But it's been storming all night long. So... I'm going to come out and do a second coat, then we'll put it together, and we'll put the pet plates in it. Alright guys, I took them outside, and I spray painted them, it started to rain again, so I had to get them in. You can see some dull spots right here, but I don't think I really care. I think it looks better than that black all the way around it. And I sprayed it with a mat, so maybe it's that's why it's got some doll spots. Maybe a shiny, shiny might have um, made it better. I don't know if you guys can see the doll spots. I can see them like right up in here, but it's okay. I'm gonna leave it under the fan and let it dry a little bit more. I had to grab it because it started pouring down raining again. And then, um, then we will just put it together. All right, everyone, it's ready to be put together. I'm deciding whether I want to use red letters or white letters. What do you guys think? I know by the time you see this, it's going to be too late. I'm going to make my decision. The red is more red than the curtains. The curtains are more like a burnt orange. Um, and then white is really, I mean, white might be okay. I mean, the plates are going to be white. White might be okay. I don't know. But let's get this baby put together. So it's it just pushes down in these. This one is a little loose. But we're leaving it. It's going to be fine. I found four screws that are exactly alike that are going to hold this. So I'm trying to see here how I'm going to do it so you guys can watch. It's going to be tough to get that first one in. Unless I do it like this. Let me see if I can get the second one in. I know it's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing, but... There's the second one. Alright, so there's the first one, there's the second one. Let me just go ahead and screw these in. The back, I just left the black that I had spray painted it from before. These screws fit perfect. I've been out there make printing out letters from the Cricut. Oh, I probably shouldn't have made it real tight. Kind of late now. Because um, I still have to figure out where I'm putting these. Yeah, I shouldn't have made it tight. I should have got all the four screws in first. It's okay. Won't be that hard. Now, this one here. I gotta screw them down in a little bit so that they can find the spot that they're supposed to go in. Come on. Where is it at? This one's not, for some reason, it's not lining up exactly right, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, let's get this one in before we, oops. There it is. All right, guys, I think I got it. 
took me so long to get back to this because I lost the little spindles. They were in one crate and then <laughs> the front and back was in a different crate of crafts. So um, that's what took me so long to get back to it. Plus, I just don't find time to, I don't find time to, to do things. I, I make so much work outside that I don't have time to do things inside. Even though, um, it's raining today, so, got lots of time. It's not really going tight right here for some reason. Maybe I do need bigger screws. Wasn't going very tight on that one. This one's doing okay. If it comes apart, I'll just have to put bigger screws in it. This one here is the one that's not doesn't seem like it's going very tight. But let's see what happens when we pick it up. Look at that! All right, everyone, look at that! It's good. It's it's not falling apart. Um, the one screw didn't go extremely tight, but I'm very happy with it. Now the question is, do we do white letters? Or do we do red letters? And I don't know. I'm going to make up my mind and you guys are going to be hollering. You guys are probably already hollering. Red, white, red. I feel like the plates are going to be white. Look, this whole stack of plates. Look at all these plates. The whole stack of plates fit in there. I feel like this, the plates are going to be white. So why not put white letters across the front? What do you guys think? Yes, yes? All right, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go make some letters and we'll, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got my letters EAT printing. Is it done? I didn't get here fast enough. It must be done. So I'm going to get them ready and we're going to put them on there. Here's what it looks like on my phone. Let's see if it's done. It says it's done. I don't know. Maybe I got to push the button to eject it. There it is. And then there's what it was on my phone. It was just basic letters. I really, I don't have a subscription anywhere. I don't know what subscription to get um, that's going to be worth it. I don't know how to change the fonts or anything else, so I'm still learning as I go, but um, I like the bold right there. I did know how to change it from bold to regular to whichever. Anyways, I'm going to be out there, and we're going to put this on there, and hopefully it looks good. All right, guys, so here it is. I just have to peel the outside off. Maybe. There's tools. I might have to go get the tools. This was just a small, a small piece that I got on clearance before I even, I think I owned the machine, but I was going to say I got it on clearance before I even knew, before I ever even used the machine. Where is it at? Oh, there's a whole piece right there that I could use. If I wanted to use this piece, let me cut that off. You know, you can make small things with small pieces of the paper. And I'd hate to, um, even though it's real teeny, there's no sense in throwing it away. Well, if I can get it. I'm having an issue seeing, guys. So here's the T. Let's see where the T is. We'll flip it on the back. And um, I think it's right there. So we'll flip it on the back and we'll cut it. I think this is it right there. Let me make sure that's it. Yep, that's it. And then you can just cut it right down the lines. I know it's a teeny piece, but if I just wanted to make a small white A or something that got ripped up or something, I would have it. So I did learn that from watching a couple of videos. 
and plus a friend of mine has one. So she's like, don't ever throw any of your little pieces away. Save them all. Because right there, that could be, you know, Marie's Life Vlogs. Or this could be if I wanted to put sugar or flour on a container in white, I could use this. All right. So now is when you peel it off. And it is a lot easier with the tools. But I thought that maybe I could just get it. Here it comes. And I know it's hard to see because it's all white. But That was actually pretty easy to peel off. Except for I got the A piece in the middle here. I'm going to get the tool so I don't mess it up and I'm going to get the transfer paper. Alright guys. The other tool that I like the best, we had it out the other day and I don't see it. This one just, it, it, it grabs it so hard that just peels it right off. Just got to be careful that you don't mess up the other piece. All right, so the, this is a big piece of transfer paper, but this is what I got. And it's already been used multiple times, but you can use it over and over. Unless you're selling the stickers or, you know, for donations or whatever, then you have to give them the transfer paper. But otherwise, if you're at home, you can use this transfer paper over and over and over it won't stay on the table. It just won't stay. I probably need to delete it on this board. But I already put the back on this board. It doesn't matter how it goes on here. As long as it's on here without the bubbles. Let's see. And yes. You, some people are probably yelling, you're doing it wrong. And I might be. I might very well be. But I'm still learning. All right, so there's the letters. I know they're going to be hard for you to see until we get them over to, um, over to the paper, paper plate folder. There was, like we had the tools right here. I don't know what in the world Henriette did with my other tools. They're just gone. When they don't get put back where they belong, then we lose things. Alright guys, so then you just get it, good, get it good to your transfer paper. It doesn't matter that the transfer paper is this big. Because I'm just going to put it back on that thing and I'm going to use it until I can't use it no more. Until the sticky is completely gone. Alright, so let's see if we can peel it off of here. Nope, it's not going yet. You got to make sure them corners are ready to go. Let's see it. Nope, that one's not going either. This one might have lost some of its stick. I mean, it might, but still want to use it. Oh, you know what? This this looks way bigger than I should have put this on here to make sure it was going to work first. Because this looks way bigger than what that thing is. Don't you guys think that too?
Come on. That tea just doesn't want to grab on. But when I look at this, it looks way bigger than um, the thing is. Yeah, that tea is just not grabbing. Nope. Why is that tea not grabbing? Yep, the tea's not grabbing. For some darn reason. Let's see if it grabs pulling it off this way. It's not. There we go, it grabbed this way. Let's see if it's gonna grab. What a pain in the butt. I think this is too big. I think I must have made it. Maybe not. No, maybe not. What do you guys think? Maybe not. Just gotta figure out where I'm putting it. And make sure it looks right. Don't fall over there yet. Come on. I didn't get the lines lined up very well. So now I just got to guess it. I don't know. What are we thinking? I mean, it looks pretty good. What are we thinking, guys? I think it looks pretty good. I don't know how well straight straight wise it is though. If it's let me stand back here. I don't know, it looks pretty good, but I can't really tell if it's if it's straight or if it's not. It's about it's a little off. Let's see if I can fix it. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it. It is a little off. It starts sticking, then I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's already sticking. It's all right. Nobody's gonna notice it. We're gonna leave it. I'll notice it, but I won't care. Hopefully, hopefully, it's too late. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fine. You guys, let me know what you think. And they're supposed to be able to peel off real easy, so we'll see. If I wanted to change it. All right, the big moment. Some people love this. Some people says this is their satisfaction, but you know that's not my satisfaction. Like pulling the cover off your brand new cell phone or something. My granddaughter just thinks it's that's just amazing. Wow! Look at that. Okay. What do we think? I think it's alright. I think maybe white might not have been the color, but maybe, because look. Can you see it now? Tyler! Come look! Well, don't come look then. What do you guys think? I'm glad you guys are with me. I think it looks marvelous, darling. Marvelous. And I'm going to find a spot and we're going to put it probably over there. Maybe over there. I'm not sure where, but I love it. Looks amazing. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that little project. Um... I think it turned out really, really good. I just have to find a home where I'm going to put it. 
So I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. Peace.